breather systems themselves, um, they effectively start off as a, a six period um, strategy, but you can use one period, two periods, whatever you like, so you can choose. So what most people are looking to do is to basically come up with that style of irrigation. So in the morning, most irrigation is starting about an hour after sunrise, so your plants are actually <coughs> transpiring. And then your moisture content will drop down and then irrigation is given to bump it up to around about 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock when you start to get drained. Maintain some drain to keep flushing the slab out or your grain meter out. And then at the end of the day, um, you're turning that off to effectively um, stop the irrigation. But the irrigation here um, is controlled on radiation sun. So basically the sunnier it is, the more irrigation is going to happen. So the grower sets the, the parameters. So if you want a really quick uh, period of irrigation, you might set something like 60 joules per centimetre square. That'll tick over very quickly. And then as you get longer into the day, you, you're working out uh, what value you need to just keep that, that volume up there. But the trick is to try and keep those moisture levels in the slab. Now, that's always in sometimes a bit of a bit of guesswork. Um, when you've got a, a big area like this, you know, it's, it's hard to go around and have a probe in every slab. So a lot of the growers now are actually using um, probes within the growing media to give them more of a guide as to what the, um, the moisture content may be. And then the next thing that we're looking at with, um, with the previous systems is what's the, the diagram on the bottom of your, your bit of paper, which um, it's a system known as uh, previous moisture balance. So what happens there is that you've got your containers, um, so it can be pots, slabs, whatever. So uh, we've got growers using this for raspberries, for um, the strawberries, and that's basically a weight of the growing media and the water. So what it does is you can actually set the parameters up so that when you've got a certain weight, that's your target weight for getting drained. Um, and then the every time it drops down to a, a lower level, it'll turn the irrigation on to keep it pulsing. So the software effectively allows you to control irrigation by transpiration. So for the plant, that's a much better thing rather than just, you know, I think it should be right. It's really responding to what, what happens. But the, the software is pretty smart. So in the morning, you'd normally look for your drop-off uh, um, weight because that's the plant transpiring, using up water, making the medium lighter. Um, and then it'll kick it into, into operation. But what this will do is effectively, if it's a cloudy day, you won't get that transpiration, so your irrigation will start later, which is what you want. And conversely, at the end of the day, if it gets cloudy, then it will stop it as earlier. But if it's still sunny, it'll keep it going. Um, but the software itself actually looks at the amount of irrigation during the day and predicts when it should be stopping to give you the required dry out at the end of the day as well. So some really smart sort of innovation going ahead with the, um, with the Priva systems at the moment. Not everyone's got it. Um, it's sort of interesting that berry growing has gone from you know, literally people growing in soil and turning irrigation on for a time to they're probably one of our most active um, I suppose the industry participants um, and certainly in the, the level of software and uh, installations that they're purchasing at the moment yeah, it's a very high level of uh, input that they're putting into their, their crop areas. Um, so, but we're seeing big players like you know, say Driscoll's um, Costa. Grow Costa up at um, New South Wales, you know, they're all putting these systems in. They're not cheap, but they're getting the control level that, that they want. So, But in terms of the system itself, um, yes, it will monitor that. The other thing you can do with this irrigation is that you can actually look at having influences. So your, your EC may be set at, um, to say as a figure of two, but obviously it's a sunny day, your plants require less uh, fertiliser than they do, they want more water. So you can have influence on the the fertilizer recipe, so the sunnier it gets, it pushes down your EC. So, start of the day it might be two, come to midpoint day or middle of the day now, it could be down to 1.7. You, you decide that parameter, but the computer will automatically work out exactly what it wants for you. And the same if your um, if you if the day changes, if suddenly the clouds roll in and um, it becomes really sort of cloudy and overcast, then um, obviously the computer will respond to that. But there's also a maximum rest time in there as well. So because we're in the unique situation here, we've got plants that are sort of growing in the open, but they've got cover. They've got the protection, but they've also got the wind coming in. So there's a bit of a challenge growing because you've got that high rate of transpiration. So, but again, if, if you're concerned about those plants, and you think, well, look, they can need irrigation, whatever, after two hours, you can put that sort of level into there as well. The biggest problem we find um, with people is, is that they just need to monitor the systems. Um, and that's not a shot at growers in general, but. A lot of people will fill up their stock tanks to a very high EC level because you don't have to fill it up so many times, so that's nice and easy. But these systems require a sort of little and often a gentle approach to dosing. If you put a, a huge amount of fertilizer in one shot 
uh, it sends the EC rate right up and then the computer will actually compensate. So if you're aiming for an EC at two but it puts so much fertilizer it goes to five, it'll then let it drop right down, it won't doze for a while so you get an average of, of output. So what you really want is to see a graph that's got uh, little pulses of fertilizer coming into it. Uh, and you can do that for a very simple test like doing a 100 to one test. All these units are designed to run on 100 to one dosing. Um, so basically you take your 10 litres of water, 100 ml of A, 100 ml of B, stir it all up, see what you get, that's your recipe, and then you pop that into your computer, that's your, uh, that's basically what the, uh, the test is telling you, then you put your desired amount in, and if that desired is probably about sort of 0.3 of uh, EC below the, the actual recipe, then that's probably about, about right. But um, you know, Most problems we get with people's dosing accurate isn't accurate is because of that, stock solutions are set too high. So I know it's a pain to fill up fertilizer tanks a bit more, but you'll get much better control out of the whole system as well. These are also designed that um, you can log into these remotely, so you can wander around your farm with the iPad, you can turn the irrigation on for a specific valve at that point. Um, you don't have to wait for it to irrigate with, um, with radiation sum, so you can decide exactly what you want. Um, you can also turn on the valve, so instead of activating once, they can activate 20 times. So if you're uh, buffering bags, rather than keep telling it to irrigate once at a time, you can get a big solid amount of uh, dosing irrigation water out of it. So, so they are they're complex systems, but the, the interface is pretty user friendly. Um, so we do a fair bit of work of supporting our growers by getting out there and uh, making sure that we, they're using the system to the best of its, its potential. And yeah, some growers we've got now are really sort of very, uh, very keen to ensure that they get the, the best out of the system. But the bottom line is you want that dosing accurately because of your plants. You want it dosing accurately because if, you, if you're going wrong, you're basically wasting money as well. So getting the, the required amount of fertilizer on and the right volume of water is really critical with these systems, but these systems allow you to do it very, very simply.